We've made a lot of videos about sharpening, especially focusing on how to do it as quickly and efficiently as possible. My philosophy is if it isn't easy and fast, you're gonna put it off. And the duller the tool gets, the more frustrating it is to use and the more work it will be when you finally do get around to sharpening it. Even if you're primarily a power tool woodworker, you likely know the benefits of at least a block plane and maybe a smoother. But while you may be quick to touch up a chisel's edge, you may neglect a plane iron because you know that taking it out of the plane will mean you have to reset it and that can be a hassle. Today I'm going to show you three ways to quickly reset your plane iron so you can get back to work. First we'll do it the old fashioned way with some test cuts. Then we'll do it another old fashioned but lesser known way with some little scraps of wood. And finally we'll do it the high tech way with an inexpensive digital tool. When you return the iron to your plane, you must always first sight down the sole, usually from the front or toe end, and then fully withdraw the iron up inside the plane and then advance it forward with the depth adjustment knob until the edge just begins to peek through the mouth. From this toe end, you can usually see a shadow beneath the edge of the iron as it begins to appear. Then you use the plane's lateral adjustment mechanism, or sometimes I find it more accurate just to tap it with a little metal hammer to adjust the iron left or right until the edge appears to be parallel to the sole. I say appears to be parallel because even a well-trained eye can't tell if it's set perfectly. You have to fine tune it. And the most common method is on the wood itself. So you withdraw the iron back into the plane. Then you begin advancing it again slowly as you run the sole across the wood. As with any planing, be sure you're working with the grain. Note where the shaving appears. If it's on one side of the iron, then tilt the iron the other way. Your goal is to get an even thin shaving that's more or less all the way across the iron. Keep in mind though that if your board isn't perfectly flat, you won't get an even, even shaving all the way across the full width of the iron. First you have to flatten the board. To do that, you could just increase the depth of your cut so that you can get it down to where it is flat. Of course, that will make your shaving thicker and you won't be able to tell by eye if one side is thicker than the other, meaning your iron is tilted in relation to the sole and your shaving will be producing a slight bevel on the surface. So you may take a couple thicker shavings just to get it flat, then withdraw the iron and take those very thin shavings to fine tune the angle until you can produce a nearly full width shaving at that thin setting. That's the most common way to reset a plane iron. If your stock is already flat, it shouldn't take too long. You may keep a piece of straight grained flat stock under your bench just for this purpose. Another less common traditional method involves a little scrap of wood, about a sixteenth of an inch thick. After sighting by eye, withdraw the iron, then advance it just a little bit while rubbing the edge of the scrap on the sole of the plane until you just begin to feel it grab on the iron's edge. If it's only grabbing on one side, adjust the skew of the iron until it barely grabs all the way across the edge. This extra step should make the next step quicker because your edge should already be parallel to the sole of the plane. Now you need only set the cutting depth with a couple of passes over your board. Our third method takes the little scrap of wood idea further by incorporating modern technology. This is a digital depth gauge that was specifically designed for this task. I'll put a link to it below this video if you want to check it out. I'm a big fan of this thing because it's fast, easy, and accurate. After sighting the iron by eye, place the gauge on the sole near one of the corners of the iron. Then slide it all the way across to the other corner and compare the reading. Adjust the iron laterally as needed until the two measurements are the same or at least within a few ten thousandths of each other. Now you can be certain that the edge is parallel to the sole, but you can also quickly advance the iron to just the right depth, which I like between one and three thousandths, and skip those test cuts altogether. The base of the gauge is magnetic, so it'll stick to the sole, leaving both hands free to adjust the plane. And while you're putting a metal probe on the fine edge of your sharp iron, I find it to be gentle enough that I've had no issues with that. This has become my go-to way to reset a plane iron. Once you learn to sharpen and set up a hand plane quickly and effectively, you'll find yourself using them more and more. I'll put some links to some other hand plane sharpening and use videos that we've made below this video. See you next time.
Digital tools make woodworking easier and more precise, and they aren't as expensive as they used to be, at least not at the Craftsman Gallery. They have a full range of eye gauging digital tools for every type of woodworking task. And by supporting them, you're also supporting us. So please use the link below this video to check them out today. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.